Where do you see yourself in five years? If you're starting to think that's a stupid question, you're not alone because it is a stupid question. <laughs> uh, you are such an interesting person. Well, now the next thing I'd like to ask you is where do you see yourself in five years? Five years? That's a really long time. No, I have not given it any thought at all. I really like to see where life takes me. I like to go with the flow. <sighs> where do I see myself in five years? Wow. <laughs> um, probably sitting where you are, asking these questions to the next hire. In five years, probably some other company making more money, you know? You know? Five years? Well, see, I really just see this job as a stepping stone. What I'm actually interested in is... Where do you see yourself in five years? If you're starting to think that's a stupid question, you're not alone, because it is a stupid question. Nobody knows where they're going to be in one year, much less five years, you know? And they know that. They know that nobody knows. And we know that they know that nobody knows, you know? Which means they know that we have to know that they know that nobody knows, you know? So why do they even ask this question then? Hopefully by this point you figured out that there's more to this question than just where do you see yourself in five years? The reason they ask this question is really to gauge a few things about you. If we are giving the interviewer the benefit of the doubt, Right? Say this is a genuine, honest to goodness, I want to get to know you more as a person kind of question. I want to understand you a little bit better. What kind of person am I dealing with? Then yeah, there are actually a few insights that you can gain from asking somebody this question. For example, do you even have a plan? Or are you the kind of person who just lets life happen around them and to them? Are you ambitious? What are your priorities? How am I going to motivate you as an employee? Do you care about words of affirmation or do you just need to see a bonus so that you'll do better? Do I just need to pay you and you'll do a better job? If that's the case, then I've learned something from this question. Is this something you really want to do? Does this job line up with your career aspirations? Is it something you're passionate about? Or are you just here for a paycheck and waiting until something better comes along? Now, interviewers may be interested in one or several of these answers when they ask you the question, where do you see yourself in five years? But these are kind of the, the side dishes to the juicy main course of a question that they're dying to get the real answer to. So what are they really looking for when they ask this question? Where do you see yourself in five years? Well, the question they're actually asking is, are you going to be here in five years, right? They wanna know that you are reliable. They wanna know that if they spend time and energy and money training you, that you'll be there. That they're not just wasting their time for you to move on to a different company the first chance you get. So maybe you're just looking to get some experience, right? You're new to the industry and you just want to get a feel for it. Maybe you just graduated from college and you're trying to get that entry level job before moving up in your career. But we need to look at this from their perspective. Put yourself in the shoes of the hiring manager. Would you want to hire somebody who you felt like was going to take your training and move on to a new job in six months? Of course not. You want to know that the time and energy that you are investing in this person to train them up on this job is going to yield you benefits, is going to provide value to your team for the long run. You want to be able to rely on this person, not feel like at any second they're going to be able to leave because somebody else offered them another job. Now with that perspective in mind, we're going to go ahead and take a look at the best and the worst ways to answer the question, where do you see yourself in five years? First thing we need to do is ease the interviewer's mind. Yes. We will still be here in one year, in two years, five years, and we will want to retire from this company. Probably not, but they need to feel like you are invested in this company as much as they will be invested in your training. Everything else is bonus at that point. Well, we can't just get away with saying something like, yeah, I'll be here in five years if you hire me, right? We need to actually show them that we will be providing value to this team and this company if we are in fact hired and that we will also be here. We need to be reliable, value-producing employees. Both of those are important. If you provide value, but you're gonna be gone the next second, who cares? If you're there, but you're not doing anything, who cares? You need to do both. Now with those two concepts in mind, let's go ahead and get into some of the best ways that you can answer the question, where do you see yourself in five years? Because there are multiple answers and you can kind of pick and choose from these to make it your answer. 
For this example, let's go ahead and say that we're going into the banking industry, just so that these phrases don't sound like fill in the blank, right? I see myself as a subject matter expert in the financial field and specifically in the personal loan industry. I hope to be able to discuss banking and personal loans confidently and competently with leaders and the uninitiated individuals that I come in contact with on a day-to-day -day basis. I expect to be well-versed in the area of personal loans and the finance industry overall. I hope to be a leader on the personal loans team and have opportunities to mentor new employees. Now you'll notice I stayed away from any job titles or roles here. And that's because even something as innocent as I hope to be a manager in two to five years implies that you are going to be looking to move out of this job as soon as you can to be a manager and that you're not solely interested in the job that you're applying for. And that can be a dangerous place to be. That's why we're going to stick with meaningful yet fairly abstract phrases like I want to be a mentor, a leader, a subject matter expert, right? Things that show that you are going to be providing value on the team that you are applying for and not that you're looking to use this as a stepping stone to another job shortly after. It goes without saying, but avoid making it sound like this job is just a stepping stone to something else. Even phrases like, I hope to be a manager, or I hope to gain industry experience and expertise and move into a more impactful role. Right, that might sound innocent enough, but really all the hiring manager hears is, right now my plan is to join your team, take all the skills and training that you can give me, and then leave and go to a different company that pays me more. We don't wanna give off the perception that we're not planning to be here. Even if in all honesty, your plan is to not be here, right? So we're even going to avoid those kind of cliche answers like I hope to be CEO, or I hope to be sitting where you are asking these interview questions, right? They're not funny. And really they just show you're not taking this question seriously. Even if it's a dumb question, you shouldn't take seriously. So to recap, when you get the question, where do you see yourself in five years? We're going to focus on an answer that says, if you hire me, I will add value to this team and this company for years to come. I am reliable. And what we're not going to do is suggest that this is short term or this is just to get experience or that this is just a stepping stone to something else. If you've gotten this question in your interviews before, leave a comment below and share your experiences. If you're interested in more videos about how to answer any and all interview questions, check out my channel right here. And if you specifically want to know how to answer those pesky behavioral questions using the star format, check out this video here.